I'm Jeff Paulson and uh, today we're combining corn three miles north of Beaver, Iowa. Uh, this is a 7240 Case IH with a 4408 corn head. Yes, you can set this up to run at the speed you want with the mile per hour you're driving. At the present time I am on manual, it's just running one particular speed and it shreds the stocks pretty good even at five miles an hour. Well actually we had uh, the, uh, a year prior to that we had a neighbor come and help us finish up. We were getting kind of late in the season and he brought his over and, and he had a 2000 series head on a 7130 case IH combine and after we noticed how good they were he said, well, he was on his second set of them. He'd already, he'd put them on, and I think he said he got six or seven seasons out of them, and then he switched and put a new set on, on the same old head. Yeah. And boy, we come back to plant beans the next year, and you could, it was, you could see the night and day difference where the <clears throat> Calmer rollers had been and where Case IH's original were on there, so... That was kind of a selling point in itself. Yeah, we run, well, it depends. If we got some highly erodible ground, we just run a, uh, a heavy disc over it. And, but on your low ground, your black ground, or where you're going back to corn on corn, we usually disc rip it, you know. And, and we noticed right away that, that it buries more trash because the pieces are smaller. They're just chewed up so well. Well, yeah, I think it's it's better because you're going to have darker soil in the spring. Obviously, you got a little more heat coming in with the sunshine, and then uh, when you're planting, you just got a warmer soil to start with. You don't have so much trash on top. I mean, yeah, we can. We've had we've had uh, actually we've had a snowstorm in May before, May the sixth one time, and you know the biggest thing about trying to get everything to your emergence is so important whether it's corn beans whatever you need to get it out of the ground and you don't want all that residue sitting there and tying up your nutrients and, and your nitrogen and everything else so when you can get get it tore up and get it buried and get it decomposing it's uh, far better for your growing crop that's coming on eight rows has always has always fit our program real well um, our, our farm's not, you know, we don't farm a, a lot of acres, you know, we farm about 1,300 and uh, it's just always seemed to fit our program with. If you get 12 row head, you got to have a bigger cart and you got to have more people. Kind of how it works. 